Hey guys, it's Manager Kylie, and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you the different stats to keep track of for bowling. So today I'm gonna go through the different stats and the different statistics that people keep track of in bowling and how professional bowlers um, keep track of their stats versus college bowlers and kind of the important stats and when you know you've kind of hit uh, a really good point in bowling where your stats should be. But if you guys are interested in more sports administration content just like this, definitely subscribe button, turn the bell to get notified every time I upload. As for 2023, um, I will be posting every other Wednesday, um, but I also have tons of content already on my channel, so definitely check that out. And as always, if there's anything you're looking for from my channel, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to bring that content to you as well. So starting with the basics, um, players will keep track of their score. Um, so a perfect score in bowling is 300. So players will keep track of their score every time and they'll keep track of what their average score is. This average score number will just give them where they normally lie. Um, professional bowlers and top bowlers would like to be at least above 200, 220 um, to kind of be in that top elite level. So it's definitely important to keep track of where your score is each time you bowl so that you understand um, what you need to improve on and how to get closer closer to that 300 number. Bowlers will also keep track of how many strikes they have while bowling, um, and especially how many strikes they have in certain frames. Um, so keeping track of the number of strikes they have, it just kind of knows how they're doing. Um, the more strikes, the better. So it just keeps track of how they know they're doing. Similar to that, they'll keep track of the number of spares they get. So this is when you get all the pins down on your second throw. Um, so they'll keep track of the number of spares they are getting because that just gives them an extra chance um, for extra points. Both strikes and spares give you a chance for extra points. And off of this, bowlers will also keep track of how many splits they get. So this is when on the first throw, you hit the head pin, that goes away. And then in the back, you have at least uh, one piece space of like one pin space between two pins. Um, so these are the different ways that you could hit it down. Splits are much harder. There are some splits that are almost near impossible to hit, um, but splits are a much harder way to get all the pins down because they're not all bunched together. Um, so keeping track of the number of splits and also how many splits you are able to turn into spares. And then the final one of the basic stats is the average pins knocked down on the first throw. So what this is, is keeping track of how many pins on that first ball you get knocked down each frame your goal is a lot of bowlers would like to get to at least 9.2 um, obviously 10 is getting a strike but the more pins that you're able to get down on that first bowl that means that you get a strike and then you're able to get more bonus points as that goes so the more strikes the better obviously in bowling that's how you get to 300 um, so you're trying to keep that number pretty high meaning you're getting as many pins possible down each throw so some of our more advanced bowling stats, the first one is your strike percentage. Um, so in each frame, you keep track of whether or not you get a strike and then each frame gets their own strike percentage. This just allows you to know that maybe the first frame you almost always get a strike and maybe in the sixth frame you almost never get a strike. So kind of keep track of where you get a strike so that you know which frames um, you're more likely to get a strike on and which frames you need to improve your strike percentage. And same thing off of this for spares, you keep track of each frame, how often you get strikes, uh, how often you get spares in those frames. So the more often you get spares or strikes in those frames, the better, um, but you know where you're more likely to get that spare. Another percentage you keep track of is your split conversion to spare percentage. So what this is, is if you have a split out there and you're able to knock them down and turn it into a spare, you keep track of that. So kind of know how often you're able to convert that split into a spare. The hardest split is the four, six, seven, nine, ten split. So this has a lot of pins still up, but this is usually only converted 0.2% of the time. So it's one of the much harder splits to get everything down. Uh, but keeping track of how often you're able to convert different splits um, into spares is very important because you know if that situation comes up, you know you're better off and the way you want to change the way you're bowling to be able to try to get it down. People will also keep track of their carry percentage and what that is is a carry is when the ball goes through the area and actually knock down pins um, kind of to the side of where the ball is going through. So it's the other pins that are really knocking them down so they're carrying the pins with them. Obviously this is helpful because it's knocking down extra pins but people will keep track of how many pins are carried through um, based on the way you hit the 
ball and hit the different slots um, between the different pins. People will also keep track of their angle of entry. So this is the angle that the ball is thrown at and the angle it hits the pins at. Um, so this angle definitely changes the way the pins fall. Hitting the pins at the perfect angle is gonna cause that strike. If for some reason you're off a little bit on your degrees, that can change the way um, the pins fall and the amount of pins you get. So people will keep track of their angle of entry to understand what is the perfect angle for them to be able to hit down all the pins. People will also keep track of their double strike percentage. So this is when they get two strikes in a row. Um, so two frames in a row, you're getting strikes. So it just allows you to know that you're more likely to, um, especially frame by frame, if you get a strike in this frame, you're more likely to get a strike in the next frame. But understanding how often when you get that first strike, are you to get a second strike? And then the last three are some of your expert stats. These involve a little bit more math to them, um, but they're also very important to keep track of. So the first one is a simplified uh, bowling rating, and this allows you to compare all the different bowlers in a field of bowlers. And what this is, is your strike percentage plus your spare percentage plus your split conversion rate. Um, so adding these all together, you're able to get an even number to compare all the bowlers on, which makes it a lot easier that you're, so you're not gonna comparing apples to oranges, you're comparing the bowlers all on the same uh, field and the same set of numbers. Your power rating adds up your strike percentage, your carry percentage, and your double strike percentage. So this is, like in a lot of things, your power is when you're strongest. So what this is, is trying to calculate how often you're getting down as many pins as possible. So kind of showing who's the strongest in the field. And then finally, your average bowling rating adds up that power rating as well as your spare percentage and your split conversion. This just allows you to know where you are as an average bowler compared to everybody else, getting you that strong side of you and then also your conversion for those splits and spares um, on how you're able to continue to get those areas that give you extra points. A lot of things in bowling are getting those splits and spares that allow you to get those bonus points in the next frame. So you're really looking to get those different conversions. So that's the basics of bowling stats. If you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I also have a video on the how bowling is scored. So if you're interested in learning that, I will have that linked to both at the end and in the iCard. And if there's any other bowling videos you'd like to see from my channel, definitely let me know that. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you guys in my next video.